Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of AFI's DIYs. I'm Kayla and I'll be showing you how to make an economy liquid dish soap. This formula is perfect for manual dishwashing and has foaming capabilities. I'm so excited to get started. Let's look at the recipe. For supplies, you'll need rubber gloves, goggles, a large glass beaker, a glass stirring rod, a spatula, a container for packaging. To make 10 ounces of product, you'll need 83.08% or 9 ounces of water, 6.28% or 0.68 ounces of BioSoft S101, 6.18% or 0.67 ounces of Steel CS270. 2.78% or 0.3 ounces of Monox LMDO, citric acid as needed, sodium hydroxide as needed, 0.92% or 0.1 ounces of sodium chloride, 0.38% or 1 4th teaspoon of preservative, 0.38% or 1 4th teaspoon of fragrance. Fragrance is key for many products, but especially in the cleaning product. Out of thousands of options, we chose lemon lime. Wow, that smells super fruity and clean. With that, we're ready to go. Great, let's get started. First, combine water and sodium hydroxide while mixing thoroughly. Next, slowly, very slowly, just a drizzle, add the BioSoft S101 acid. Mix until homogenous. Note, this neutralization generates heat. Keep the temperature below 50 degrees Celsius 122 degrees Fahrenheit while neutralizing. Then, check the pH and if it's below five, adjust with sodium hydroxide until it's above five. Once the pH is above five, add the steel CS270C and mix until homogenous. After that, add the Ammonix LMDO and mix until homogenous. Check the pH and use citric acid or sodium hydroxide to adjust the pH between 6.5 and 8.5. Then add preservative, fragrance, and then the sodium chloride to increase the viscosity. Mix between each ingredient. Finally, just transfer the product into your packaging container. Now your liquid dish soap is complete. Since the majority of this product is water, it's very inexpensive to make. It only costs us a few cents, and it can be sold wholesale for 50 cents and retail for around $1. After washing dishes by hand, your nails and cuticles might need a little love, so check out our DIY nail and cuticle oil at the end of this video. Thank you for following along on today's DIY. We are so excited you stopped by and can't wait to see you next time. Bye!